Dina Von Yokes here. So glad you've joined us. I am happy to share with you an in-depth step of the Von Savvy Shop. Bold haircuts and colors can be a bit of a hit or miss, but we know that the Queen's Gamut haircut is going to be a checkmate. In this video, you are getting the download of how to achieve the red, spicy, sharp bob which we like to call shop. As a hair artist, this is a great hair design to put in your bucket for your clients. I'd love to point out that there is a difference between technical and practical. And technical is where you're learning something step by step, and practical is actually going into action. It's great to watch something, but when you actually do it, that's when you become where it becomes one with you and you own it. Grab your doll head so we can be learning and doing, and then at the end of that, you're gonna be retaining and you'll be able to put this into practice behind the chair when it comes to applying it for your clientele. Where we left off, we were in the back section first. Second, we're going into the side and we'll be connecting front to back. When we're in the side section, this is the time to connect front to back. And we're also going to be using pie shape partings and we use four quadrants. We part and section the front to the back and we section side to side. So this creates four sections. You've got your horizontal 90s and you've got your vertical 90s. If you notice my sectioning is vertical and I'm taking a pie shape parting from the front section and I'm mirroring it to the back section. This gives you a visual position of where you're starting from. When you do this, there's a lot of times there's no guide in the front at this point, so I connect it to the shortest piece of hair. I bring everything from her face and I cut it back to the back section and that is how I use back section for the guide. Parting front and then parting back and this is a mirror image from front to back. I can see visually even distribution from front to back and the more that you take your time and the thinner the sections the cleaner the work. As you go along and become more and more experienced do I take larger sections? Absolutely, but I know exactly where my guide is. And that's why you wanna keep the section small because it keeps it sheer so that you can continue to see your previous section. Over the ear, you wanna loosen up your tension so that you don't leave a C shape in the perimeter of your hair. You've gotta think that once you release the hair, that area is gonna pop and it leaves a C section. So you wanna loosen up your tension. We don't wanna see shape using the back section and now going into the front again. I want you to think elevation over direction finger angle. I'm not over directing it forward or back so I'm directing it straight down at a 90. I got one fingers elevation from the neck which is basically from the head and again my finger angle is 90 and it's a horizontal 90 always want to go off of the shortest piece of hair so you bring the the section that you're cutting back to the length that the hair was established at now we are going into our final section and you're going to notice the hair that's closest to her face when you see that sheer section underneath your there is no perimeter so you want to bring the hair all the way out and just follow that same exact line that you have in the back you want to bring it into the front she has no perimeter follow that same line it's important that you start off with wet hair you want to keep it the same consistency because hair shrinks up as it dries I'm going into the midsection I cut the back first midsection next and then the front third and I'm going off that last strand to determine the length of the hair and it's very important how you comb the hair. You wanna get every single little nook and cranny out of there and have it as smooth and beautiful and loosen your tension over the ear. And now as you go towards the face, you can have more tension again. These are things that you wanna think about every time you're cutting hair. Elevation, over direction, finger angle, 
and the two basic angles are 90 and 45 and today you're going to notice we work with 90 90 90. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and learning to do the fun Vaughn Savvy shop. So the beauty of having a doll head and this video, you can rewind it at any time and go back and show the step by step. So take your time, do it step by step, and if need be, go back to the video. Everything, one finger's elevation and every section after that, cut it to your first guide and you're gonna see it an amazing, beautiful, clean line. I'll see you in the next video. Keep going. Thank you.